Local 4 News begins right now with a breaking news alert. That breaking news out of southwest Detroit where folks in a neighborhood there are rattled after a shooting suspect leads police on a wild chase ending in a shootout. The SUV flying down Livernois and police cars chasing after him. Well, I didn't know what was going on. It was scary. It was scary for me. Yeah, that crazy chase tops our show here at four. This is video from the scene. Uh, we're told the suspect was wanted in connection to a shooting. Let's get right out to Priya, man, who's been on the ground there since the story broke. Priya, what are you learning? And Jason, that high speed chase ended here at Fort and Springwell, and you can see a massive police presence still here. State police and Detroit police involved in this chase. As you mentioned, that driver is wanted in a non fatal shooting that happened on Friday. Police were conducting surveillance on a home. They saw the driver and the passenger walk out of that home, get into their SUV. The second cops put on their sirens. Those two guys took off. Now, this high speed chase went started at Junction and Otis, and then the driver jumped onto southbound I. 75 eventually getting off on Schaefer driving the wrong way on a number of Detroit streets before getting back on northbound 75 and coming off on spring Wells, where eventually he was boxed in by both state police and Detroit police. Let's take a look live at sky four right now so you can get a bird's eye view of what we're talking about here. Now scary moments here for police while they were trying to get this driver out of the vehicle. He started using the SUV as a weapon trying to hit officers with that vehicle. That's when three Detroit police Police and one state trooper did open fire. The two people inside were significantly injured. We have just learned that the passenger died and the driver is now in the hospital. No officers were injured, but you can only imagine for people who were working or driving or just being outside in the area when this happened, just how scary it was. Take a listen. Uh, well, I didn't know what was going on. You had police cars coming from all different directions, so you were kind of caught in the middle. You didn't know whether to stay or keep going. And it was just, I just wanted to go home. It was scary. It was scary for me because you don't know what's happening. And very scary for police officers as well when that suspect tried using that SUV as a weapon. Now, this chase started at about 2.20 this afternoon, only lasted about 20 minutes. State police got involved when that driver went onto uh, I-75. Now, again, that driver and that passenger were wanted in connection to a non-fatal shooting that happened on Friday. We've learned just moments ago that that passenger died. The driver is in the hospital. No officers were injured. And, of course, an investigation has only just started. Reporting from Southwest Detroit, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4.